Alright, on this video I'll be showing you how to make an arrow counter and also make it so when you touch an arrow it automatically picks it up. Okay, and it also will display on the screen of the player. So, first off, we're going to go to the arrow and look at its brain. So, these first two lines are the basic arrow uh, lines and stuff. It only puts those in when you set down the arrow and those really aren't important so, but we'll leave those in there okay so this one is for one bumped uh, when bumped by the player player being you global area arrow count is increased by one and so global is a variable in the world arrow count is just what I named that variable and it is just increased by one after that line is executed, then it will go to the next line. This is to destroy, so after you touched it and the, it increased the arrow count by one, it will just delete it off the map. And so you don't have to worry about just, oh, somebody can just go and keep on picking up that arrow. They can't, but it's not there anymore. Now we're going to the player's brain, and this is the line for the player's brain. And these first lines are just normal again, except for the one that's attack, whatever, attack hit, no, it's added, but yeah. So, this, these lines are the important ones, so it says global, arrow count is greater than zero, it will now, then it will execute the next line. The next line is display a picture of the crossbow bolt, and then an X, or like a multiplied sign, plus the arrow count variable in large font and so show you what it looks like after that's all done so see here I have no arrows I haven't picked up any and there's no it doesn't show any arrows in my left hand corner so I go touch one I now it displays it touch two touch three touch four and I picked up all four and it shows the times four on the very left hand corner if you like this video, subscribe for more. Any questions or comments below. And thank you guys for watching. And have a nice day.